Meta has just made a really big change to Facebook ads retargeting. And this is a change that we need to talk about because for some beginner Facebook advertisers, this might be a good thing. For anyone that's a little bit more advanced and intermediate level or, or beyond, this is not something that you're going to want to use. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I am inside an example Facebook ad account. I've just quickly created an example campaign to demonstrate this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the ad set level, which is obviously where targeting is set. If we go ahead and click edit on this example ad set, and we scroll down to the custom audience section. I'm sure most of you are familiar, but for those of you who don't know, the way you retarget on Facebook is you create a custom audience. Could be your website listers, email list, people who've watched videos of yours on Facebook, lots of different options. I've got a separate video about that, so I'll include a link in the description. But you create a custom audience and then you're able to advertise to that custom audience full of warm people, people who have interacted with your business before, and that's what retargeting effectively is. Now, if we come to this custom audience section, I just click into here and add in uh, an example custom audience, let's say video viewers, for example, one that I recommend a lot of Facebook advertisers use, you will now see that we have this little thing underneath pop up called advantage custom audience, which sounds great, doesn't it? Who doesn't want advantage? And you'll notice, you've probably seen a number of my videos recently, and if you're in the platform a lot, in, in Ads Manager a lot, you'll see that there's a lot of advantage stuff popping up. And a lot of it is a move towards automation, and that's exactly what this is. So what advantage custom audience is, it says, if you have it selected, reach people beyond your custom audience when it is likely to improve performance. So effectively, when you are retargeting, you're advertising to people that have already interacted with your business, let's say people have visited your website, you might think that you're just advertising to people that have visited your website, but actually, if you leave this Advantage Custom Audience ticked, you will be advertising to other people as well, effectively cold audiences. Now, that might be okay if you're you know, fairly beginner Facebook advertiser, you've just got a very simple campaign, um, you've got maybe one ad set for retargeting, one ad set for cold audiences, and you're like, you know what, if there's a bit of overlap, if, if my retargeting audience expands to some cold audiences, that's gonna be absolutely fine. There are, however, some scenarios where that really is not a good thing. And I want to cover those because if you fall into any one of these scenarios, you are definitely going to want to turn off Advantage custom audience. Now, before I get into that, I just want to quickly mention my company's done for you Facebook and Instagram advertising services. So we can create, manage, and optimize your Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns. We do have a 3K per month minimum budget requirement, but if you're interested in working with us, have us take that workload off your hands and potentially significantly improve your results. There's a link in the video description. You can go ahead and book a call with one of my team members, find out all the details and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully we get a chance to work together. Okay, so when would you not want to use this Advantage custom audience feature? Well, obviously, if you've got any sort of specific messaging to the people that you're retargeting. So let's say someone's visited your website, they've added something to cart and you're running an add to cart campaign to try and convince them to purchase. You know, you might have ad copy saying things like, don't forget to complete your checkout, or maybe you even offer a little discount, here's 10% to help, you know, incent. You, you see those sorts of ads, people create those sorts of ads all the time where someone's clicked add to cart, they haven't completed it, you put an ad in front of them with a 10% discount to help encourage them to just complete that final action. Well, you certainly wouldn't want to use that use this feature if you've got ads like that in this campaign, because if someone hasn't actually visited your website, they haven't actually added something to cart, and an ad pops up in front of them that says, you forgot to complete your checkout, well, that's clearly not going to work. That's going to, to look nonsensical. So if there's any sort of specific messaging in your ads, anything in a video that says, you know, welcome back or, alludes to the fact that you've interacted with that business before. I create retargeting ads like that all the time that I know are just going out to my warm audiences. And I will say things like, you probably already know who I am, but just in case you don't, here's a little intro. There's all sorts of little touches like that that you would not want if you run this feature, they're just not going to make any sense. It's gonna confuse your audience. It's not going to work. So you'd certainly want to turn it off in those scenarios. And then you've got the issue of more complex Facebook advertising sales funnel structures. So if you're running a very basic direct offer campaign, like I described earlier, then okay, this might be fine. But anything more sophisticated than that, and you're likely to run into problems. I mean, let's take, for example, the lead magnet and webinar strategy that I talk about a lot, where you run one campaign to cold audiences to get people to opt in for a free lead magnet and then you retarget the people that have opted in for a free lead magnet with the offer that is your product service etc now that is pretty simple it's a two-step sales funnel as opposed to a one step with a direct offer approach but even that starts to break down if you've got advantage custom audience selected because 
We only want in that scenario to be advertising our product or service offer to people that have already opted in, that have had some value from us, had an interaction before. This is really important for anything that's not a really quick and easy sort of impulse purchase that you want that extra touch point often. Um, but if you're saying things like in your ad, alluding to the lead magnet they downloaded and then trying to transition them as we usually would into purchasing the product, service, whatever it is, if instead that's now just going out to cold audiences because you've got this selected, well, that's not going to work. And it's also the sorts of products and services that we sell using the lead magnet strategy are going to be services that cost more, you know, a little bit more products that are in the hundreds of, of dollars range as opposed to the tens that require that extra touch point. Well, they're just not going to work if Facebook goes ahead and puts your ad in front of cold audiences. That's why there's the extra step. So moving people through is really important. And then, of course, we get into the omnipresent content campaign structure where you're taking a small group of people, typically a warm audience, but you can even do it with a cold audience initially and make them warm. And what you're doing is you're putting lots of different ads in front of those people over an extended time period in order to really develop that relationship, really warm them up, deliver value, demonstrate your expertise and help convince them to purchase in that scenario, often very high ticket stuff, very expensive stuff. That's why it requires so much uh, lead nurturing, and that's what we use omnipresent content for. Now, if you've got the Vantage custom audience selected when you are trying to use omnipresent content, and instead of you just putting those ads that are designed to nurture a specific group of leads that you've generated, and that's going out to just everyone, random people, cold audiences, etc., well, that's just a waste of your budget. That's completely ineffective. And I think we have to be careful when Meta introduce new features. Often they will benefit some people, but not others. So in this case, this is definitely a, a, something that's targeted at beginners who often set up, say, retargeting campaigns and their retargeting audience is tiny and they use too large a budget. Well, this feature will help them because they won't just smash through that warm audience and fatigue it. They'll have more reach. So I can see it helps them. But it really doesn't help advanced, even intermediate Facebook advertisers because we want the added level of control and we're not just going with a super basic campaign structure um, all the time. And we have to always think about what's in this for Meta, okay? So if you're wanting to just retarget and you're only wanting to advertise to those people and now your ads are going to be pushed out to potentially much, much, much larger audiences, why are you going to spend more? So always keep those in, those things in mind when you see a new thing pop up, even if it says things like advantage custom audience to make it sound great. So I think for a lot of advertisers, you're going to want to go ahead and turn this off. But just think about it through, okay, am I actually happy for people not in my retargeting audience, my warm audience, to see these ads? Does that make sense given my campaign structure, um, given my, my strategy? I think for a lot of people watching my videos, the answer is going to be no. And if you're wondering what omnipresent content is as a Facebook ad strategy, how it all works and how it fits together, it's actually one of my favorites. It's super, super effective, especially for building relationships with your prospects over the long term. I've created a whole video here that you can go ahead and check out. I walk you through the exact process, show you how to set up the campaign, ad sets, all that sort of stuff. Well worth checking out.